Hi, welcome back to Select Obsession. Hopefully you enjoyed the introductory videos. Today we're going to discuss what donor bikes you can use. There's three main considerations when picking a donor bike. Will the hub motor fit your swing arm? Where's the battery going to go? And where's the controller and electronics going to go? So the hub motor and the swing arm. The swing arm I use is 170 millimeters. Occasionally 165 if it's bent. Most vintage Hondas are 170. The motor is 150. This gives you 20 millimeters. This allows space for the caliper adapter and a spacer to center the rear wheel. You will have to cut both of these backs off so the rear wheel will slide in. Remember, you'll have some vertical slop here. We are making a piece that takes care of the vertical slop and the caliper adapter. Check on the website in a few weeks. Now I've chose to put my batteries in this location right here. I do that because that's where the original motor was and I feel like you get the best ride with the battery in that original location. Now the electronics and the controller. I carefully cut the top of the gas tank out and slide all the electronics in here. It will require you to drill some holes. You'll have to drill a hole up here to get the wires down the tube. Inside this box you'll have to drill a hole. You'll have to cut the top of this out, cut the bottom of this out, and that allows you to run all of your wiring. Now, what donor bikes? It's simple. Is there a spot for a battery, a controller, and is it bigger than 150 millimeters? It can't be too much bigger because your axle nuts won't fit on. Now, Hondas that I know that will work, CT90, of course. You can find the CT90 for under $100 without a motor. The other bikes that will work, a C200, a S90, a Cub, a Cub 90, and a whole variety of other bikes. If you know of bikes that will work, post them below. Now let's check out my bikes. Now these two bikes right here on the end, these are CT90s, just like my blue bike. Now the next two bikes, the yellow fork bike and the red bike, these ones are Cub 90s. So they have the cool bars, they're gonna have the cowling, and there's a couple different seat options. These bikes are really gonna make some cool bikes. This is a C100. This is a Cub. I'm gonna do this bike for my wife. It's gonna be a really cool bike. I'm gonna do chrome rims, do some chrome parts. She's gonna love it. We're gonna have the cowling on it, a cool seat on it, really cool bike. So this is a C200, just like my bike up, up in the garage that I did. Uh, these guys here, so I've never actually built one of these bikes. They've got this kind of monocoque style frame. It's a C110. Uh, I think it's similar to a S90, but it does have the old style fork. So gonna be a cool build. Again, same thing. It's a C110. And these two bikes here, are the S90 bikes. Now these do have the new style fork, which I'm not as big of a fan of. I actually don't even have the forks for these. I picked these bikes up for like 10 bucks a piece, but eventually I might get around to building them. Should be cool. So these are all the bikes that I have. Now let's do some test riding. 